Hi, I'm Ken Page. I'm a psychotherapist. I'm a blogger for Psychology Today, and I'm the author of the upcoming book, Deeper Dating, How to Drop the Games of Seduction and Discover the Power of Intimacy. My work has been praised by top thought leaders in the field of human intimacy, and many of my articles have gone viral worldwide online. I teach about a deeper and more humane approach to the search of, for love, one that actually works much better than the games that we're taught we need to play in order to find love. You know, the search for love is one of the great missions of our adult lives. The quality of our relationship, and research proves this out, is more important than almost any other factor at all in terms of determining the quality of our lives, our days, our nights, our children's lives and futures. And yet we're sent out into the world with so little helpful, wise, and empowering information about how to find and cultivate that kind of real love. You know, David Brooks, a columnist for the New York Times, says, and I paraphrase a bit here, but he says, if you have a crappy marriage and a great career, you're probably not going to be happy. But if you have a great marriage and a crappy career, you probably will be happy. And he goes on to say that's why most college courses should actually be teaching young people how to find the right partner. Well, God knows that is exactly not what, ha what happens. So what do we get taught? What are we barraged with day after day? We're taught you have to look young, you have to look great, you have to be more in shape, you have to tighten your glutes and get a six pack and look as good as you can, and you have to act confident, you have to play a little hard to get, you have to play it cool. Who developed these concepts? A team of anxious adolescents? How did this end up being our map for finding the most important relationship of our lives? Well, there's a deeper way to find love, backed by research, science, principles of mindfulness and spirituality, and generations of experience in terms of what really works. And I'd like to share some of these ideas with you. Here's one of them. Attractions, we know, we all know that we can't force our attractions. What we haven't been taught is that we can educate our attractions. We can educate our attractions to help us develop passion and attraction for people who are good for us. We have not learned that playing hard to get does not work, and research proves this out. Showing interest, enthusiasm, and kindness is what works. Why did nobody teach us this? We have not learned that the very qualities we think we need to hide in order to find love are the actual qualities that will help us find the kind of love we're yearning for and keep that love. These are qualities that I call core gifts. They're the places where life touches us the most deeply, whether in pain or in joy. And when we learn to name and honor our core gifts and lead with them in our dating life, our entire experience of the search for love begins to change in wonderful and amazing ways, and our lives change as well. These are ideas that are very exciting, very hopeful, and bring a great sense of direction and promise that I'd love to share with you through my newsletter, through my articles, through my book. It turns out that the search for love is not a search for a needle in a haystack. It's not a race against time. It's an intimacy journey, and every step you take learning your lessons of intimacy will bring you closer to the love you seek and more able to keep and sustain and nourish that love when you find it. I invite you to sign up for my newsletter where you'll receive free videos, free material, and a kind of ongoing flow of curriculum around the wiser search for love. Thanks so much for visiting, and I look forward to much future interaction. Thank you.